So let's say we want to do a picture-in-picture -picture effect inside of Adobe Premiere. Uh, step one is we've got to go get the video, and I'll quickly go through the steps for that. So let's say that the video that we want to grab uh, is this one here. Okay. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go share, copy, open up VLC. From VLC, we'll go open network stream, and we'll paste that in. That is the current one that's in there. We'll click play. And if it... And we are at an impasse. Okay, so it's I'm afraid it's perfect. Then what we do is we go tools and codec information. Uh, triple click in here or go control A, control C, copy it. Close it. We're done here. If it doesn't play, by the way, inside of VLC Player, so. it, it means you won't be able to get the video most likely. Make sure you have the latest version of VLC Player. That might help. Open up a new tab. I've already done that here. Paste. And, and we are we'll at an impasse. And we'll see just the video now. So this is the link directly to that video. If you right-click it, you can save the video as something. So we'll save the video. I've already got it saved here, but I'll call it, uh, let's see. Okay, we've got that now. And what I'll do next is minimize this. And then I'm going to drag it uh, directly from where I've downloaded it inside of the timeline. And I'll just drag it right over top, actually. I don't need the audio, or maybe I do need the audio. But what I can also do is uh, right-click and go Unlink. And now I can delete or move that audio or slide it over, whatever I want to do. I can, I can manipulate that audio separately from the video. You notice that it's already a picture-in-picture, -picture, and that's simply because of the size of the actual file. So if I go back and have a look at it, right-click and go um, uh, Properties, what I can do is I can actually go into Details and see what size this thing is. And so the size for this is 40 by 360, uh, but in fact what we're doing with our sequence is we're working at a totally different size scale. We're at 1920 by 1080, and that's why it looks so small. Nonetheless, um, if we did want to scale it, all we would do is select it, go to the Scale button here, and we could make it larger and or smaller. But I'm going to reset it back to 100 simply by typing 100 there. Next thing I want to do is I want to get rid of these black bars on the top and bottom. The top one's easy because I can just slide this up until it just barely disappears, or I can leave a small little bit. And I'm going to put it in the top right-hand corner. That way, this is going to play uh, as the video plays. Now, of course, these scenes are, are not going to match up, uh, nor they're supposed to. Uh, but in the examples that my students are going to be working on, uh, hopefully there'll be a direct uh, match between their shots and the sequence that they're comparing it to. Uh, I want to get rid of the black bar along the bottom there, and we're going to need to add an effect onto that. It is crop. Crop is already selected here, but if you don't see it, all you do is click on the effects and search for crop. Drag it on top. Uh, I'm going to click the X here just so that it's it's cleared of, of uh, any search uh, any search text. And then what we do is obviously left, top, right, and bottom. And bottom is what we want. And as you drag that up, you see it disappear. And it looks uh, right around there somewhere. You can fine-tune it. 12 is probably pretty good. Let's try 11.5. Uh, you can see a little hint of black there. That's fine. Um, and I think we're probably good to go. All right. That's it. Over and out.